Here's the deal, folks. I'm not the kind of person that's going to just use a tool blindly forever and be an evangelist for it whenever somebody else recommends something that's supposedly better. So what I have here, uh, hidden by this file dialog, is WizTree, which people insisted in my Windows stat mentions and videos, is better than Windows stat. And in fact, the web page for WizTree says it's 43 times faster than Windows stat. And um, we're here to find out if that's true. Now, I want you to know, this is Windows Stat 2. For over a decade, the only version was 1. And 1 was indeed very slow, but this is 2. Those speed problems have been fixed. So we're going to run this, and I'm probably going to go into an editor and actually put them side by side to see how fast they actually scan the app data file tree that I was scanning in the previous video. Now, I've already scanned this file tree just to make sure that it's all sort of stored in the Windows disk cache rather than being something where one of them is slow because of the disk and the other slow because, you know, or the other's fast because it's already in the cache. In that regard, we'll actually hamper Windows stat just in case the cache is not going to be helpful at first by scanning it first. And then WizTree. I can already tell you that this is slower. Also, um, I already can tell you that I hate, hate this interface compared to Windows Stat. There's so much wasted space. Um, none of this is necessary. Um, I don't know that this is necessary. This, uh, I'm pretty sure that 663 gigs isn't being used in this folder. So this is the whole disk. This is not correct. This is not representative of what's actually going on here in this folder. So WizTree immediately is an inferior tool. But let's go back to Windows Stat. Now remember, this is the same folder. I also noticed there's a lot of extra padding over here. So let's see Windows Stat. Now granted, I don't like the default column sizing in Windows Stat uh, going off the screen like this with this 720p window I've set up. But look at the file tree here versus in WizTree. Now, first of all, you'll notice there's a lot less actually visible. Um, it's harder to see. Let's go looking for... Um, see, I can find these big files in both. What is this? Um, let's see. That's that same Docker thing from that video. Let's go find it in Windows Stat. I'm pretty sure that's this one. Yeah, but you'll notice that WizTree is spending time drawing that Windows Stat is not. Also, let's do a quick count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, there's about 12 folders visible. And over here, um, we actually have more room for the file tree at the bottom, so it's not quite equivalent. Um, but if we were to make those file trees sort of match up, which thankfully we can do, uh, that's close. Maybe a little more. There's a lot of extra padding right here. It just says C users owner app data. So if we make the file trees about the same size, uh, that padding is um, it's pretty thick. So we can only see about eight items here in Windows Stat. Um, there's way, way more than eight. What is that? One, two, three, four, five. It, it's about 12. Um, the information density is much higher in Windows Stat. And when you work with a lot of files like this, the density is really important. This is the problem that I have with tools like this. This thing has a ton of padding. It has this annoying bouncy donate button. Um, technically, it's also not for commercial use. So if, if you were to um, if you were to use WizTree in the ab application I am, um, I'm in a business and I might use this on a customer computer, for example. Windows Stat is completely free. It's open source. Um, I don't remember what the license is exactly, but it's the GPL, so I can do whatever the hell I want with it. But WizTree is, uh, as far as I know, not open source, and um, it's got 
the uh, donate ads here, and l you can't legally use it in a computer repair business or in, in any business. Um, you have to pay money for it. Um, and why would I pay money for this obviously inferior tool that loaded the tree slower and uh, also does not show as much information on the screen? And the information it does show, oh my god, that's really slow. Look at how slow this is. It like If I move around, what is this thing doing? There's like a delay. Whereas with Nurstat, if I'm moving over these files, look at this. This is immediate. So, yeah, it it is objectively... Um, clear that Windows Stat is a better tool in all respects. Unless you like having lots and lots of excess information that doesn't really help you. Um, you like having less um, ability to actually use the interface. Um, you like seeing less files. And you like this scan that completed in 4.31 seconds, which it's not a big tree, so that's not exactly a surprise. Uh, here, let's refresh the whole thing, and, and, and I'm just going to See how long it takes for Windows Stat to go through it again. Two, three. I mean, obviously, it's uh, at least a second faster. Everything about Windows Stat is clearly superior, but everyone keeps telling me WizTree's better and faster, and I'm just not seeing it. So, guys, I gave it a fair shake. Um, what can you do if you right click on something? Explore, Command Prompt. I mean, this is pretty normal. But, um, and apparently you can zoom the tree map. Oh, no. Um, yeah, this is... Oh, uh, now I've nuked the tree map. So what... Okay. I hate this program. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is remove it from my computer. Windurstat is objectively better than WizTree. And I tried to tell you people that you were probably thinking of Windurstat 1, which is slower than dirt... And that this was probably a waste of time and you should use Windows Stat instead of WizTree. But um, here we go. You know, I tried it. I gave it a fair shot and it sucks. So thanks for the recommendation. But I think maybe some of you should consider that you're wrong. And you should have given it uh, a bit of a shot. Especially after I said that they released a 2.x series. Thanks for playing. Take it easy.